weekly Bible study at 7. Save the date for our 51st annual Diocesan Synod Council at Grace R.E. Church, Monk's Corner, daily at 10 a.m. We're asking that you please keep the Gadein family in your thoughts and prayers and the loss of their loved one, Mr. Mark Gadein. Thank you, Redeemer, Ar Redeemer Church family, for your $40 contribution to the building fund. Thank you for seeing the vision together. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Diocese of the Southeast of the Reformed Episcopal Church, the Bishop Jordan Conference Center, summer youth staff, and campers, we say thank you. Thank you for your donation and for preparing meals for camp. We appreciate you and may God continue to bless you and your ministry. With love, the Diocese of the Southeast Reformed Episcopal Church, the BJCC staff, and campers. Thank you. Words cannot express how deeply we appreciate all your love, kindness, and support you have shown to us during this difficult time. We are so thankful, and it will always be remembered by the family of the late Mary Ann Jones. Dillon Baptist Church, invitation to their men's program. We're excited to extend an invitation to our upcoming men's day program. This event is a wonderful opportunity for men in our community to gather, connect, and be inspired. Details of the event are as follows. It will be held on September 10th at 10 a.m. at Dillon Baptist Church. We are delighted to announce that our guest speaker for our men's program will be Minister Darius Ganon. With his wealth of knowledge and experience, he is sure to provide an inspiring and thought-provoking message that resonates with men from all walks of life. We sincerely hope that you and your congregation can join us for this special Men's Day program. Together we can create an atmosphere of growth, learning, and fellowship that enriches the lives of all who attend. We look forward to your presence in Faith Day on Baptist Church, Men's Day Committee, Shelton Glanding, Chairperson. The much awaited reopening of our seniors program is here. The first Thursday in October, the Seniors Program will begin again. Look forward for more information. We'll bring that to you as the time gets, comes closer. Also, Redeemer Church family, immediately after our church celebration, a covered trade dinner will be served in the Life Center after service. Enjoy your service, enjoy your week, and have a blessed day. Good morning, Redeemer. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm coming here from the uh, missionary. Um, we had our 86th missionary convention on this past Thursday and Friday. And a good time was had by all. Um, like I just said, I hadn't done my report yet, so when I get back, I'll do that for you all. But this year, they have a presentation to the seasoned missionary workers um, that were 90 years and older. And we had three from our church, plus Mr. Perkins. Uh, three women, plus Mr. Perkins. Um, the three priests was Mrs. Boone, Mrs. Nelly Gadsen, Mrs. Flory Milliken, and as I said, Mr. Perkins. Um, they were presented with um, an envelope on yesterday, and I want to give them theirs today, um, coming from the 86th uh, Missionary Convention. Um, thank you all for being the role model that we need. It definitely a role model to me because when I took the position, pandemic came in. So I'm just actually, I feel like I'm just actually working in the position. But I thank you, thank you all who showed up on um, this past Thursday, Friday, Friday and Saturday 
um, like I said, a good time is had, but I will be back with the uh, report um, next week. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Amen.
followed by the scripture and the apostle Peter. around about. And he arose at the synagogue 
and enter into Simon's house. And Simon's wife, mother, was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for, for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left, left her. And immediately she awoke and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all, they, all that they had, any sick with diverse disease, brought them unto him. And he laid his hands over every one of them and healed them. And the devil also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuked them, suffered them not to speak. But they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day, he departed and went into a, des a desert place. And the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also. For therefore I am sent. He preached and presented God to Galilee. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe the Bible, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Most High Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and gave the Mary. He just came to hell. Yeah. 
Gaston, Reverend Benjamin Milligan, to our bishop, you will always be our bishop. To William White and his wife, to all of the evangelists and ministers who is in the house, to our choir, the musician, the ushers, and to this wedding congregation. God bless each and every one of you. I'm grateful this morning to stand in for this 149th church anniversary. That's a long time. And I believe in my heart that God will take it even to a longer Dead in years. God has used his church and his people tremendously. When you've been somewhere for 149 years, you did something right, church. And as we look back to those great leaders that lead us in this service for all those years some come and go but that's the way God worked when one come and goes he sent another and believe me there were some good pastors that said behind this pulpit. Yes. Yes. Some great person. Yes. Uh, God didn't brought you this far just to leave you here. And I believe in my heart that God has greater work for us to do. Amen. Yes, I said, I got, I'm a part of that too. I was born and raised Confirm, baptized, confirmed in this church, not this building, but the church. And I enjoy every moment of it. But to have great leaders, not calling names, our seminary had to play a great Part, getting these men ready to serve the Lord. So Redeemer, we should be proud. We should be happy, grateful to the Almighty God for what He has done for us. As I said a little earlier, God did not promise this far to leave us. And we are who in charge now. We shall be teaching the younger members so that when we step aside, they may continue this great work of this great church. So I'm happy. to be the speaker for today. As I look at this sanctuary and I know the pastor, I see Bishop White there, and to my mind, he should be up here speaking, but I'm gonna leave that right there. <clears throat> but for those who have a Bible, we we'll turn to the Gospel according to St. Luke, the eighth chapter. Beginning at the 35th verse, St. Luke, the 8th chapter, beginning at the 35th verse, and it's free. 
then went the devil out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. When they had fed them with what, what when they had fed them, saw what was done. They fled and went and told it in the city and in the country. Okay, I'm reading this a little more than I should. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devil was departed, saying, at the feet, and sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what mean he that was possessed of the devil was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of gatherings round about began besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear. And he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devil was departed <coughs> besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thine own house and show how great things God has done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole, whole city how great thing Jesus has done unto him. Amen. Our text will be coming from the 38th and 39th verse. Now the man out of whom the devil were departed besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away saying, Return to thine own house and show how great things God has done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus has done unto him. Just for a little while we've been speaking, go and tell the good news. Go and tell the good news. Jesus, although our 149th anniversary, church anniversary, we would just like to sit and listen. But Jesus don't want us to sit and listen. He want us to go out and tell the good news. If we don't go out and tell the good news, this church will not get nowhere. The good news will have to be told. Jesus, our Lord, arrived at Gadjur, where a maniac lived who was possessed by dead by demons. And when he had come upon the land, they made him a certain man out of the city who had demons for a long time he had laid with no cloth and he lived not in a house but in a tomb and when this possessed man saw Jesus he cried out and fell down before Jesus <clears throat> and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, 
the son of the most high, most high God. I ask you, torment me not, for Jesus had commanded the spirit to come out of him. This man was so strong, he was kept with shame. And the Bible tells us that he broke the chain and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. Yes. Jesus asks, what are your name? And he said, Legion, for there were many. The devil entered into him, and they begged Jesus not to send them into the deep. The deep is the bottomless pit. When all fallen angel, all the fallen angel lived. But they did not want to live an everlasting chain under the darkness. Dark. Demon went to inhabit the body of a person. When a demon is cast out of a person, he will wander around <coughs> and try to enter that person again. If he cannot gain interest, he will try another person. He does not want to be without a body. When Jesus cast them out of this man, they were willing to go into a herd of swine, which was feeding on the hillside rather than go into the abyss. The pigs would rather be dead than to have the demon and dwell in them. A marvelous thing, a marvelous transformation had taken place in this man. Not only Christ can deliver from the power of Satan, we are seeing the same thing in our days. Well, well. It is frightful and ugly things, and we need to call upon God for help. It is stunning to read that the people of Gaza came and asked Jesus to leave their course. The reason was that they would rather have the swine than to have him. That's a sidewalk thing, church. When you rather have swine than have Jesus. That's a rather hard searching question for the person, for the present day. Because they are are a lot of people who would rather have others think which are just as bad as pig than to have Christ. This man know that Jesus had done a marvelous thing in his life. The fact that Jesus was getting ready to leave, he wanted to be with him. But Jesus saw him, sent him away, saying, I know you want to follow me, but instead of following me, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go back to your home. I want you to go back to your neighborhood. I want you to go and tell the good news. I want you to go and tell them how good things that I have done for you. Tell them that if they believe and trust in me, that everything is going to be alright. Instead of 
Father in Jesus. He went out and tell do exactly what Jesus told him to do. You see, that's what us church. When Jesus has done great things for us, we don't want to go and tell nobody else. But I tell you, when Jesus done good things for us, we should be glad and go out and spread the good news. We should be glad to go into the city, the highway and byway, and tell them, said I met a man who can get demons out of us. I met a man who can just speak the word and everything will come to pass. I heard a man called Jesus who they told me can raise us dead. I heard a man, Jesus, who can give, who give land to those who cannot walk. Go out and tell them that Jesus is alive and well. Yes. I'm urging you to go and continue yes, Lord. and to tell the good news. Go out and tell them that we didn't come this far by ourselves. Tell them that there's a man who called Jesus who has brought us this far. Tell them that Jesus will not leave us nor forsake us. Tell them that Jesus is going to carry us for many, many more years. Tell them that Jesus is going to send people to the seminary to learn yes. and to preach yes. the gospel of Christ. Yes. You see, we want to, when Jesus has done something good for us, we just want to keep it to ourselves. But I tell you, church, when the Holy Spirit hit us, we're going to have to tell somebody. Somebody said, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. But of what God has done for you, yes. you can sit there and keep it all to yourself. Yes, Lord. You see, that's what God don't want that. Oh, he wants us to go yes. and tell us Lord, the good news. Yes. Yes. Redeeming this church was telling the good news for many years. And many, many more years to come. Well. He's going to tell, just go out and tell the good news. Yes. Yes. Go out into the highway yes. and the byway. Yes, tell them yes. that God promises for yes. not to leave us. Yes, tell them that if we only keep our hand in God's hand, yes. then everything is going to be all right. Yes. Tell them yes. that we are serving yes. a risen Christ. Yes. A Christ who loves us day and night. Yes, a God who will protect us and lead and guide us. Church, I'm not going to tell you that's going to be like other church. Let's go out and tell what God has tell us to do. Yes, Lord. And I see that you're getting ready to do great things in the community. Yes. The food bank. The senior citizen. Yes. You are working. That's what God wants. Not always has a hand out. But God give to those who are in need. Well, and you are doing a marvelous job. Yes. I recommend you yes. for that. Members, put everything aside. And just remember that it's not about us. But it's about Jesus. Yes. Yes. Our Lord and say yes, yes. let us go out mm -hmm. and tell the good news yes. that Jesus is the one the only one Jesus is the only one we can get into the kingdom of God yes. because we cannot get into the kingdom of God unless we go to Jesus we're going to have to go to him Jesus was good to me yes and I know that he is good to you. Church, 
another 149 years will be all right. That's all right. Although we were in hell, probably gone. But yes, God has somebody to take our place. Okay? But when he calls, let us be ready that we can go out and tell the good news. Tell them that our Savior has died on Calvary Cross for us. Tell them that we are covered under the blood of Jesus. Tell them that we serve a risen Christ, not a dead Christ, a risen Christ. And tell yes. the good news. Yes, Lord. That man tell him, do exactly what Jesus told him to do. Yes, Lord. You see, some of us just want to be followers. But we're going to have to be doers also. Yes. But you have to let's go out and tell them yes. that Christ is the way, yes, yes. the truth. And the life. Mm -hmm. No man could come unto the Father but through the Son. Right. Go out and tell the good news. Yes. Well, you say, well, we were doing it for 149 years. We should say that let's do it for another 149 years. And whatever God has and plan for us. And when he went into this and came back, the people were so amazed. They ran and met Jesus so that he could talk them. It's paraphrasing. Teach them. The same one who asked them to leave the court said, This is the man that we must to follow. Let's don't be like those people. When the demon went into the swine and the swine ran down the hill, ball and way. And drowned to themselves. The crowd asked Jesus to leave. And what a pitiful, what a pitiful saying. Get away. Go away. We rather have swine than Jesus. What a big mistake. Church Redeemer, God was good for you yes. for a long time. Yes. And I know that you rather have Jesus than to have those forty people who was elected official. You see what's going on. You know what's going on with them. They don't care about Jesus. They lost the fear of God. Because somebody, maybe somebody didn't go out and tell them that God is watching every move, move that we make. I'm encouraging you Everyone, don't leave it up to the pastor, to the bishop. Let us all go out and tell the good news. Let us go into the highway and buy it. Let us go to Pine or Russellville, San Stephen. Let us go wherever there's people need to hear the gospel. That's what is missing now. People are not listening to the gospel. Amen. But one day, we're going to have to give an account. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be pity when we come before Jesus and he asks us what we have done and say, well, I did nothing. Nothing while I was on this earth. That's why we are here. To build, help build up the kingdom of God. Redeemer, you have done a good job so far. You have me call him Redeemer. But not only Redeemer, all the Reformed Episcopal Church. What a job they have done. We should give our forefathers and those men who have suffered, suffered, I mean year after year. Yes, there was hard time. Even the, let me show you how good God is. Even the fire, even the fire could not stop your growth in Christ. They burned the building down, but the church continued. Because you were faithful and trusting God. They back then were faithful and trusting God. Yeah. And 
when we do that, nothing can move. Satan cannot do nothing with us. Amen. Let us continue to trust in God. Oh, yes. God has a job for you already. Amen. Let's go ahead and accept it. Follow the lead of our pastor. Oh, yes. And if we do that, let us do it faithfully. Ah, yes. If we do that, everything is going to be all right. Go out yes, and tell the good news. Don't wait for the pastor and the evangelist. We all have a duty. We do to go and tell how good thing God has done for us. God has done something good for each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. And let us go and tell others. Continue to trust in the Lord. May God bless you and keep you. The door of the church is open. There's one person here who don't know the Christ and who sent this young man out to go and tell the good news. If you don't know this Christ, I'm asking you to come now. Come before we have prayer. Think about it now, young people. And those who are out of Christ, emerging each and every one of you to come and give your life to Christ. We always say young people, but there's some older people who need to come also and give their life to Christ. Is there one? Remember now. Tomorrow might be too late. Yes, yes. Let's do now what we can do right this moment. Let's come and have a little talk with Jesus. Just tell him that, Lord, I don't understand all that's going on. But I come trusting in you, Lord, that you will explain it to me. Is that one? I love you, Jesus. Yes. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Time. Lord, I love you. Those who desire to pray out, I'd like to give a call. Come and have a little talk with Jesus. Fix your mind and your heart on what you would have asked Jesus to do for you. Church, we need a prayer. We need a lot of prayer. If you don't have nothing to pray for yourself, pray for those who are sick.
Jesus fed the cross along. It all the world for free. No, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. In the name of Jesus, come. Master, we come to thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you brought us from the rock and our cradle to behold. All that we slept and slumbered in the image of death on last night. You sent angels to watch over us all night long. And early this morning, early you woke us up in our right mind. Our mind was on you to come to the house of the Lord to worship that we may glorify the Holy Name. For Master realized to bed last night. Oh, Father, we are still sleeping. They are waiting to be judged at the judgment bar. They have some who went to the hospital last night. They have some that went out on last evening that they were returned back home. There were some that got phone calls that come and see about to recognize this one or that one. But Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you woke us up. We are able to sleep during the night. Come out to Sunday school. That's what we say thank you, Lord. But Father, we remember those that's great, that's less fortunate than we are. Master said, thank you, Lord. Bless our families this morning. Bless our offspring. Bless our companions. Bless our children, children. In the name of Jesus. Bless our community. Bless our church. Bless our, bless our pastor this morning. Bless him and his family. Father, there are some not here for various reasons. But God, you know about them. You know all about them, Father. Bless our schools. Bless the staff in this. Our children. As they are trying to get education. Clear that mind. Of the one who want to destroy them. Clear that mind. Or they kill one of them. Take the lives. Please, Master. But Father, clear that mind. That evil mind. That has evil heart. Please, Father, replace it with love. Replace the love and understand the love. Bless our community with you, will. Continue to make a safe community. In the name of Jesus. And Father, when we have been all your time,
Thank you, God. God is so good. Well, I have, well, really, I have, the worship leader this morning was supposed to be <coughs> Mr. Orlando Brown. But, you know, God is good. The God has kept him. And God is still healing him. Yes. So we tell the Lord, thank you for his healing. Yes. I have done what has been assigned in my hand. Yes. We'll have remarks by Mr. Henry Stewart. Then we have a closing selection. And after that, Reverend, Mill, Reverend Milligan will come. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for praying for me and my daughter while I was away. Yes. My daughter had surgery, and she's, thank God for healing. God is a miracle worker. Yes, That's he is. Is. He's a miracle worker. He is. I tell the Lord, thank you. Yes, he um, is. Good morning. Good morning. We'd like to thank all of you who participated in all of the service this morning. Remember Brother Brown and all the lovers that are sick. Now, he will be out of all chapters out of the day. But we all must remember him and others in our prayers. There are many that are sick, but we are just fortunate that we are not. But uh, just wait. Just wait. We are all God of the glory. Amen. And to you that's sitting here, we appreciate your thoughts this morning. We thank, we thank you for all of your understanding and we thank you, Father. We thank Sister Z, our pastor, for our 149th church anniversary. And that's a long time. And those that came ahead of us, they're prepared to wait. So our job is to prepare the way for the ones behind us. Amen. Because somebody had to pay the price. Yes. I imagine it wasn't easy. It was hard. For us in our time, we must do something that keep the torch burning for Amen. our next generation. Amen. And that we continue to pray. And we continue to pray and do whatever we can Keep God before us and we will make our next generation be proud of what this generation has done. Thank you very much.
church run to be with the Lord. And we keep them in our prayer as they now stand in that great crowd as cheering for us to meet them. We will remember them deeply in our hearts in unity as we march on. Just remember, we have the responsibility. And it's a time that we cannot raise even a second for the preacher man said that we must go tell someone. Not about Milligan, but about Jesus. Uh, yes. Help someone that they may come to know Jesus as they first to say. Yes. It is up to us now. So we thank you for the congregation. But we want to know that after we have worship, now this is not our work. We said it a thousand times before. This is not our work. Our work begins when we go to the old door. Our work is after we have worship the Lord. Because we give God praise to me. And I like to say, we ain't come to make ourselves happy. We come to make God happy. Amen. After we walk through the door, we walk out knowing that He has done something for us. I don't know, I don't care how small or great. Let's go tell Jesus. And even as we worship the baby, we want to remember the dying time. Yes. Yes. We have gone to be with the Lord. Yes. So many of them, yes. we cast all by the name. But then the church prayer, ah, yes. God bless it, makes a difference. So then we thank each and every one of you who have taken part and as we were great camp, yes. a great celebration, the start of the year church. We ask God to let you, and I, I love this, I'd like to bring Joshua, we say, hey, God, bring he told Joshua, he said, now Joshua and Moses is dead. And our children must go to the promised land. Yes. But Joshua turned around and said, God, if you lead us, uh, yes. we promise us, we'll follow and everything will be all right. So we go to Gap now to, to make our prosperous next year by doing the will of God. Thank you for being on as we continue to pray. We should wait. Again, we love you. Pray God bless my son, you know, to come and give us a benediction after the song we said, that's all that we want to do today, and you know we want to say something about you, and be very respectful for your command, you are trying to have a very soon, that you have a lot of time. Amen. We ask that you will stand for blessing of the rebounds. Our Father, my God. We thank you. We thank you for another year of journey. Yes. For we realize, God, that as we come, time you don't. Your time is an eternity, but we measure from one year to the other. Yes. And Lord, we just stop to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we constantly in our mind remind us, Lord, that. There are those that have been with us and are doing such a great job. And those that have not been with us. We thank you for them and for the life of the yes. yes. And we pray for this awakening congregation that we will be a beacon into in your church, yes. in your community, in our yes. family. And when it's all been done and said, yes. Yes. we know that we have helped someone yes. along the way. Yes. And as we celebrate, we thank you for the refreshment. And we thank you for the hand that has opened us. Yes. And Lord, we want to give you the glory for 2,000 years ago. Yes. And every day we live, and every day we might be. Yes. We ask it all in Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, that you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in itself, through Jesus Christ, your 